um, has been done it before. He's kind of back in the saddle this week. How, how do you got to go through the week as you wait to see who emerges as your quarterback Sunday? Yeah, you know, it's business as usual. You know, everybody's preparing to play. Um, they're all in the same meetings, and we, we treat it just like normal. And uh, whoever's ready to go will be out there and perform on Sunday. What's he said when you ask him about how he's feeling and, and, and you do that on a regular basis? No, not not really. As you're checking in with the morning, how you doing? And then we, we go about our day. We prep and we watch film and uh, we study the script and we just continue to, to move in that direction. Will said he feels like he'd be comfortable playing even if he doesn't get practice reps this week. Just what's allowed, what allows him to feel that comfort even if he's not rep and stuff? Well, obviously he's got a good grasp of, of, of what we're doing and he feels comfortable with what we've been asking him to do. And like I said, he's been all the meetings. So um, he's watching film, he's preparing, he's taking mental reps. Um, he's doing everything that, that we've been asking him to do. So uh, we'll see how it shakes out. How's Ryan been this week and what's he been like over the last couple of months uh, while we haven't seen him play? Ryan's been awesome. He's been a true professional and obviously it was a tough situation for him, but he's been great. He's been great in the room, helping Will, helping Malik, helping both of them get better. Um, Talk about how he sees things and doing through things through his experience, and um, he's been, you know, basically like another coach in the room. So he's been outstanding. What is your, what is your, what is your message, I guess, to Malik in terms of because if you guys are out of contention, some people might say, well, if Will can't go, take another look at Malik and see what he's, see how much he's improved. What's your message to him in that regard? You know, it's just to Malik keep working. Ryan's been the backup for the last few weeks, and that's why if if Will can't go. Um, Ryan will be out there and taking the snaps. But Malik's been great, and he's just trying to get better and improve uh, just like everybody else in the room is. What's your assessment of the short passing game? It seems like sometimes when the run game isn't working, there might be some solutions there that you guys haven't seemed to thrive with. You know, for for different reasons. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, you know, we, you know they get paid too, so they make plays as well. But, uh, you know, I, I think overall, you know, we're just going to keep functioning the way we're functioning and keep um, – you know, trying to be efficient and do a great job on first and second down and trying to stay balanced and keep teams off balance. You, what you've done there? Uh, listen, obviously uh, being out of the playoff picture, we haven't, we haven't done enough. You know what I mean? But I think in terms of, um, you know, making more explosive plays, uh, I think there's some out there that, that, you know, we got three more games to see if we can find them. Uh, that's what we're going to try and get done. I did like what you saw from Traylon on Sunday. How important is it in your mind for him to finish this year with some momentum? Uh, I, I, he did some good things. Uh, he played fast. Um, you know, uh, he had a lot of volume. You know what I mean? I think his, his body work, body of work overall was pretty solid. Did some nice things in the run game. Um, and he just got to build on that this week and build on it the next week and the week after. You think they... Mm -hmm. The stretch where you didn't get touches. How has he been just as far as staying dialed in throughout the game and finding other ways to continue? Uh, that, that's the thing um, that he's learning is you don't have to have the ball in your hands to, to, to kind of keep yourself immersed in the game. Uh, he's a big, strong guy. He can use it in the run game. Uh, he can impose his will on people. And I told him he needs to uh, – that's one of the things that he can he can lean on it, and, you know, when, when and just, until the ball finds him. Because the ball found him, um, and sometimes it, it just doesn't happen right away. He's not out here again. You kind of confident that that he can get back out and and string some things together. I am. I am. I do. I do. I do think he can do that. How does that process work? Like you're down there on the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're down there on the field. Right. As you guys are going through, right, and, and like let's say something opens up and Traylon comes back and he's like, I was open there. How does right, that right. process just relaying that to the appropriate authorities to, to go back to it? Um, I mean, I, we don't have to relay it. I mean, everybody has the same. We got, we all have the same tablet. We say the same pictures. We, we all get, kind of gather the same information, come together. This is what's next. This is what we're looking to try and get done uh, so that we're all, all on the same page. And, and, you know, sometimes it happens and, and sometimes it doesn't. The reason why I ask is because sometimes like, you'll see you guys, your opening drives are always really good. Mm -hmm. But then as the game goes on, you know, something may have been there and it, you don't know, may not get back to it or something like that. So the adjustments in-game, like how, how are you guys with that? Uh, I, think, I think Tim does a pretty good job in terms of the adjustments and, and being able to kind of, uh, you know, we've gotten to some things like in the game plan that we really didn't practice but showed up in some other weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, he's done a good job of, uh, of, of putting us in those situations. So and I think the guys have done a good job of, of, of being able to recall those things, being able to take the details and, and being able to execute. So, um, you know, I don't see that being an issue. Nick, uh, we went on an hour yesterday, man. What, how did you see him grow uh, 
in 2023 and maybe what do you think is next for him? Oh, man, uh, you know, you're talking about a guy who is uh, one of your glue guys, somebody you can lean on, someone who um, is, a, is a multi-purpose guy, good on special teams. You can put him at X, you can put him at Z, and, 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 um, and he, he could be a bit of a security blanket for you as a coach. Uh, and I think that's what he was for us uh, this year um, in terms of, uh, of going forward. You know, obviously, uh, Nick's a good football player that can do a lot of good things. Um, and I'm quite sure that, you know, uh, hopefully he'll be back, but uh, we'll kind of see how it plays out. Yeah, not the best day for, for Peter and Jalen specifically last week. They said they had a lot of communication issues. Uh, I mean, is that something that you saw on tape? And you know, I don't know, how do you correct that moving forward? No, I think, you know, from a communication standpoint, um, you know, it's just being consistent with what we're seeing, what we're saying, you know, to each other and, and making sure we're working together. Um, you know, whether whatever our job is, whatever our, you know, combination is or however we're working uh, during each uh, individual play, just making sure we're consistent with what we're saying to each other and all those things. Um, I think consistency, you know, I wouldn't just uh, point out, you know, those two guys are some good and some bad for, for uh, the guys up front as a whole as far as a one unit goes. So, like I said, just consistency, some positives, some negatives, and, uh, you know, obviously not enough good. Has Peter maybe hit a bit of a lull right now? Uh, you'd have to ask him as far as the, that question, as far as how he's feeling and stuff from a lull state. I don't think so. I think, you know, I, I think he's just continuing to work each and every day. And, you know, some things, uh, sometimes things are going to happen, um, you know, but uh, I see the same guy out here every day um, as far as his preparation and, and what he's doing on the practice field. And, you know, just keep working. Ball starts and those pre snap penalties have kind of been uh, a problem all year. And you guys actually did better with that this past week. I guess what goes into fixing that issue is uh, how much can you hammer right. it before it yeah. ends? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, um, part of that is. Uh, just trying to figure out how much to do, whether it's an individual, whether it's in, you know, meetings even, just, you know, just making sure guys are locked in and focused on it and um, aware of the different situations and, you know, possibly when we'll use certain ones and all that. Just, you know, just an awareness and and, um, and making sure we're doing our job and, and understanding when, you know, when we need to get off the ball and, you know, and then, and then obviously you want to play with great speed off the ball, you know, and anticipating and all those things. So just, you know, it's just, um, it all works together.